come into our, our Facebook page. And um, one of our listeners wrote to me, and I decided to bring him his question to you. Um, his name is Cody Lilstrom, and Cody writes, I heard about Rossi's cold fusion reactor that uses just nickel and hydrogen to create seemingly endless clean energy, creating 10,000 times the energy density of gasoline and 1,000 times the power density. Is this technology possible? This seems like, like the stuff of sci-fi to me. So I wonder if you have a take on that. Well, uh, you know, fusion was where I started. Uh, when I went to MIT, mm -hmm. that was, that was the, the holy grail, is to be able to achieve, you know, make, build a small sun on Earth. Um, Other than the hydrogen bomb. <laughs> Other than the hydrogen bomb. Yeah, right. We call it control, <laughs> right, exactly. control fusion, not uncontrolled right. fusion. And um, it was uh, pursued. It was uh, in the uh, 60s and 70s. Uh, scientists thought it was just around the corner. And uh, we're still working on it. Uh, have spent a tremendous amount of, uh, of resources uh, from many countries in the world that have, have been involved in this quest for thermonuclear fusion. Uh, and we are getting closer, but um, we do not have the, the, the formula yet to, to make it. This technique that, that he talks about is one of many, one of many uh, techniques by which we could achieve fusion. Fusion happens all the time. We can achieve uh, two particles to fuse and get the, the correct uh, results, but to do it in a large scale, and to do it uh, economically, and to do it uh, such a way that it's safe, produce electricity, that's another 10 cents. <laughs> it's not so easy. So it's important not to trivial. trivial. All right, uh, who's got a question for Maria? 